Hello everybody, uh, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a little while, but I've finally made a GUI. And I've had a, quite a few changes since the last time I made a video for this. Uh, I've been kind of going through a few things, so that's why I haven't making any videos recently. So, uh, but I have moved everything over to an app image. Uh, it's very bloated. I don't know how to reduce the size very much, but um, I have figured out a better way for NXM links. Um, it now automatically adds everything to Steam and installs dependencies for you and then restarts Steam for you. So all you have to do is open it. Um, so currently, right now, I have removed quite a few things, but you can just come to, to my GitHub or I have a Nexus page. So um, if you want to support me there, you can as well. I'm thinking of maybe eventually adding a Ko-Fi or something. I really don't know. Um, but uh, you just can go to the GitHub, go to the releases page, and it's just an app image now. Like I said, I, I don't know how to fix the, the app image bloat. It's mainly due to the fact that this is a self-contained Python version. Um, but you can go here, and then it'll be... You just got to double-click it. Uh, I know some people might have to go and open their terminal and do chmod plus x uh, nak and do that. That's what some people have to do before they can open it. And if it's not opening uh, it, after you run the chmod command, uh, can you please run this and it will give me a... Uh, it'll let me know if there's anything missing and I'll add that on the app image. But anyways, we'll go into the app image and you'll be greeted letting you know that hey this sets up MO2 for you and then tries to set up the best experience for modding. I went through this and I checked. This fits on the Steam Deck practically perfectly. Like it, it practically just fits in there. The it's a 28 1280 by 720 window. So it should fit on the Steam Deck just fine. And I am just going to be doing download MO2. So there's a few, only four options now. Download and install MO2, set up an existing MO2, set up NXM handling, or remove the NXM handler. We're going to do download MO2 for this test. We're going to start installation. And I'm going to go into my downloads, and I'm going to create a MO2 folder testing. I'm going to press choose, and you can choose a name, what you want it to be called in Steam. Testing script UI. Testing script UI. You can press OK and it will download MO2. And this is supposed to update. Like, I, my internet's too fast, so the little dynamic progress bar right here doesn't work, but this one does. Um, and it's going to automatically add it to Steam and then set up the Steam shortcut for you. It's also going to install the dependencies with Proton Tricks. Now, I'd like to thank Omni for helping me out with this. I didn't know this is how you can do it, uh, but this prevents us from even needing to restart Steam in the first place or needing to run it in the first place. Uh, it'll let you know what compact data folder it's being ran at, and then it will install the dependencies. I need to add a in the future, a little progress bar right here to let people know, hey, it is still going. Um, and I need to add better logging as of right now. Those are the only things I think I'm missing. I have added fixes for cyberpunk modding. I have added fixes for uh, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, the DWrite. So you don't need to add anything manually into the launch options. The other thing now is Fallout New Vegas no longer needs game info. Same with Enderall, but Enderall, I, I, it works sometimes, but then doesn't. So I'm not too sure about that. So if anybody would be willing to test, I do have a Discord now. Um, I do have a Discord. Uh, it's linked in on the GitHub right here for you to view it. Um, and then you, I have pre-releases, so I'll, I'll put stuff in pre-releases right here. And then I will also add post change logs. Change logs will also be on the GitHub too, and also on the Nexus website as well. Uh, but I will put pre-releases only on the Git on the Discord. So 
if anybody wants to help me test out a few things, you can gladly do that over over here inside Discord if you just want to talk about anything. I do have one now though. But uh, the pro the dependency setup takes uh, a, a little while. Um, it takes probably about four minutes. Uh, it's doing .NETs, VC Run, X Audio, and then a few Wine registry edits as well. Uh, if anybody knows any replacements for the dependencies list that also work the same way or are willing to do testing for me, like if you have your own mod list, uh, please let me know or like to just drop by. Everything's self-contained, so nothing will really be affected too much. So I would like to cut down on this install time, though. It does just take... This is probably the longest bit of the script of the app, I guess, now. That, that just takes time. So, okay. Uh, I mean, as you can see, the times changed a bit. Uh, I was got busy, and then I had to fix a few things. Um, but I've added some improved logging a little bit right here, and then .NET 9 will also install as well. Uh, once it's done, it should take about, like, for me, after I fix everything, it took four minutes. Um, the It'll show where the debug log is, um, and you can just press OK, and Steam will reopen for you. Uh, you can just go to your library, and it'll be right here. You don't have to go search for it on the left-hand side. It'll be right in your recent games. All you got to do is press play. It'll let you know, hey, you're creating a new instance of Mod Organizer, and you're good to set up a portable. You will always do portable. I will let you know that now. The other thing is, uh, I guess I will do New Vegas just to show it off. That I did fix a few things. Um, next, next, next. Mod organizer. No, use old category. And we're going to do yes just to show, showcase the NXM handler. Um, no idea why these guys are all off. But before Fallout New Vegas, they need a launch option. Now, if you have Fallout New Vegas installed, it will open up just like normal. All good to go. QQ QQ to close it out. And then we have Fallout in the Vegas right here. I'm going to go into the little uh, settings right here. Sorry for how small it is. I can't make this any bigger. I'm on a 4K display now. Um, you will go to Nexus. Connect to Nexus. So I think it's connect to Nexus. I could be wrong. It's supposed to... That's odd. I've never had that issue before. It's supposed to open up uh, your browser and then I'll just associate right here. Um, maybe I'll enter my API key manually. Give me one second. Okay. And then I had to enter my API key manually. Um, I mean, it's the same way. And then we're going to associate with download manager links. And then we're going to go back into here back to MO2 setup, and we're going to configure an NXN handler. You can select the MO2 folder, and then, so I put mine inside downloads, choose, it found the NXM handler, and you'll click on the GUI or your option from the non-Steam games and press configure NXM. It'll say it's been finished. So, for example, if we go to um, Fallout New Vegas, just go to, I guess... Whatever this mod is. I don't know what this mod re role players alternative start. We'll go to mod manager download, download, and then you should get this option right here. Open link and continue. And it downloaded. Now the cool thing is I believe I made it so now that if you click on download, it should open up mod organizer and download it for you as well. So that's the other thing. Now, like I said, you don't have to do anything extra, I, I, I guess is the biggest thing. Um, it will work just fine. Everything will go through just fine as well. And like I said, I try to download. So if we go to download a different mod, uh, Rudy EMB, 
I know you can't usually download these with Vortex. Uh, let's try classic wep Fallout weapons. Vortex, download button. It'll open it up. Downloading. It'll download it. And nice. All you gotta do is go to this little settings right here, and then connect to Nexus and associate with download manager links. And that's that's pretty much all I have going right now. The biggest thing is I have removed Limo. Um, I have removed Hula Mike for now. And then I've removed Vortex support, which I will be adding Nexus mod support once they get to a point. Uh, that way everything's automatically loaded for users so that we don't do anything manually. Uh, and I add automatic downloads for the app image. Uh, but as of right now, this is purely a mod organizer to set up. Uh, Synthesis should also be working because of the .9 SDK, which it should be leaving... Or I guess it deleted it. Deletes it when it's done. Um, but yeah, that is kind of what I wanted to show off. When um, kind of what I want to show show off, guys. So thank you for I guess watching the latest update video for it. Um, I I try. I will be trying to add any more features. But as of right now, uh, unless requested. I kind of consider this feature complete. I need to add better logging and uh, better flow process for that terminal. Uh, it shows you starting install and everything like that. Uh, I need to add something better for that. But other than that, this is feature complete in my eyes. So unless, like I said, unless people request, or I guess you guys request, that you guys want me to add something more. So uh, thank you for watching and then I hope this does help you out a lot so all right see ya